iOS 15.4 beta one was released by Apple today with a ton of new features and changes. So let's get into the first of those new features and that is the new face mask face ID setting. So when you update your device, you'll get a prompt to set up a face ID scan with a mask, and this will allow you to use face ID with a mask versus before when wearing a mask, you would just be prompted to enter in your numbered passcode. So this definitely makes things a little bit easier when using a mask. And if you want to find the setting, just go into the settings app and then onto the face ID and password menu. And uh, later in that menu, you'll see the face ID with mask setting, and that's where you can set everything up. Now, also under that menu, you can set up a scan with glasses. So if you are a frequent wearer of glasses uh, like myself, uh, you can set up a special face ID scan to recognize you with glasses on. That is definitely a highly requested feature, of course, from people like myself with glasses. Now, another change we found was the Apple Wallet widget, now available in the widgets menu. And uh, this is a great way to get a quick glance at your Apple Wallet and more specifically your card balance should you have the Apple credit card. So definitely check that feature out if you are an Apple credit card owner. Okay, so before getting into the other many new features and changes in this iOS 15.4 update, the total update size for this beta one update on my iPhone 13 Pro Max was 5.37 gigabytes, and the new build number is 19E5209H. Now, when taking a look at the new modem firmware, there's been a significant upgrade here as we have a new firmware version of 1.55.00. And of course, all of that information can be found in the About screen menu in the Settings app should you want to check out that out for yourself. Now, also another thing to add specifically for today is that Apple did also release uh, the iPad OS and tvOS 15.4 uh, beta one versions, watchOS 8.5 beta one, and also macOS 12.3 beta one all today. So if you are interested in any of those beta updates, make sure to head over to solo.to slash updated so you can see how you can install those betas on your personal devices today versus waiting for a public beta. So getting back to those new features and changes, and the next new feature is the new emojis we found within this iOS 15.4 update. You can see them on screen here, and there's definitely a lot more spread amongst the emoji keyboard, but if you are on the betas and you find one really cool that you personally like, comment your favorite new emoji down in the comment section down below, and I'll have mine pinned down there as well so you can see what I really like in this update. Now, I personally love all of the new additions specifically specifically for emojis uh, in this update. And hopefully there are more coming in the upcoming iOS 16 release, uh, as there's definitely more creativity going on this year versus some of the additions that we saw last year. So fingers crossed for more additions coming very soon. Now, next up is the support for digital COVID certificates in Europe. So definitely a very small change, but if you are based in Europe, you can now download those certificates to the Apple wallet and uh, present those when needed. Now, the next new feature is the notify when run option in the shortcuts app. And boy, uh, this is definitely exciting, especially for people like me who use that app specifically. Now, essentially you can select an option to get a notification or not when a shortcut has been run and completed. And for me who tried using specific shortcuts in the past, I was always super annoyed at how you'd get a notification that the shortcut was run and completed um, at the end of its completion. So now you can actually select if you want to uh, have that done or not, like that notification of it being run or not. And uh, that is a huge change in the shortcuts app and it was highly required requested, especially with, uh, from users like myself who use shortcuts almost on a daily basis. Now, next up is the ability to disable iCloud on the web. And this essentially will disable the ability to access iCloud data via iCloud.com. And to do this, go into the settings app and then onto the iCloud menu. In this menu, go to the password and security menu. And at the very bottom of that menu, you'll see a toggle for this feature. Now, if any of you use iCloud.com website, uh, that website for any reason, I highly recommend keeping this feature enabled. But if you don't and you want to prevent access to your iCloud data uh, via that website, you can do so by disabling access to that feature in this specific menu by toggling that feature off. 
Now, the next new feature is share play sharing options via the share menu. So now in the sharing menu, there will be a little bit more uh, share play options with a icon and text identifying that, hey, you can share this through share play. And if you're a person like me who uses share play, share play with other people quite a bit when using uh, FaceTime, you'll definitely love this feature and uh, will definitely be using it. So that is a really cool and handy feature here in iOS 15.4. And you definitely want to check that out if you are a heavy user of FaceTime. Now, the next new feature may not be useful to you guys, but I know for me, sometimes it is useful, and that is adding notes to save passwords in iClouds. Now, uh, I personally don't really have a huge need for this, but sometimes I actually do. And essentially you can add notes to the save passcodes that you have on iCloud in your keychain. So there is a place where you can place notes like backup codes or anything like that. And these notes will actually be saved and uh, sent to all devices connected to your iCloud account in the keychain. So should you want to access those notes, you can go ahead and access those in your keychain on whatever device you have that is, that is connected to your iCloud account. Now, the next new feature is the new optimized battery charging feature. And uh, if you have an Apple Watch or any sleep tracking device uh, that connects with the Apple Health app, um, optimized battery charging now bases the charging to 100% uh, time on when you typically wake up in the morning. Or perhaps if you typically wake up to go to the bathroom, it will intelligently recognize that uh, kind of pattern and schedule the charging to resume at the later time when you actually need your device to be fully charged when you wake up. So it definitely looks like things are getting to be a little bit more intuitive from Apple here. And should you want to take advantage of further AI integration, this is another really handy feature that does uh, kind of increase your battery life and also just increase the longevity of your iPhone. And uh, yeah, iOS 15.4 brings that new feature, and I'm sure a lot of you guys will appreciate that. It's sort of a background feature, not something you really have to tinker with from day to day, but definitely one that improves the overall use of iOS 15. Okay, so that's everything you need to know about iOS 15.4 beta 1, and I guess the big question is, as always, uh, should you update to your personal device? Should you get this update? It's a definite yes for me, as this is a, a new update that brings a lot of new features and changes that are quite useful to your personal daily workflow. And from my experience in using this update for about half a day now, I'm not experiencing any bugs whatsoever. So if you want to install this onto your personal device, check the links down below for more information on that. Okay guys, so how did you like today's iOS 15.4 update? Let me know in the comment section down below and also let me know if we didn't cover any new features or changes that you personally found so others can go ahead and check those out. But anyways guys, make sure to get subscribed to the channel for more future updates like these and also check out our channel information link down in the video description below for giveaways and other really cool things we have going on in the near future.